is John Wall from the New York Knicks, Syracuse University. Y'all watching Real Fans Real Talk. Word. RealFansRealTalk.com Where Arthur Domus trip young and intern Tom For the white and black fans Asia to Manhattan I get all my facts from my bro Mark the Stats Man If you're not tuned in, I recommend the CAT scan Hello everyone, Mark the Stat Man, Skevich, Real Fans Real Talk Here at the third day of the 50th anniversary of Rucker Park I'm alongside Bob McCullough and Daryl Neverson here uh, now guys good weather you didn't have the rain uh the nerves are you, your nerves could finally almost relax it's almost done how are you feeling right now on the third day of the event oh uh, we feel great there's been so many people that have come through that have really uh blessed us with their presence to make sure people are aware that they were a part of the 50th emmett bryant uh calvin ramsey as well as uh uh, Joe Hammond, PV Kirkland, uh, we have so many great sponsors, Prime One, uh, Prime 116, State Farm, the New York Knicks, the NBA, Reti NBA Retired Players Association, and we've had so many different uh, people just come out of the woodwork who played in the Rucker and been a part of it, and uh, it's been great from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Daryl, long time setting it up. Uh, didn't rain like I like I said. Uh, the nerves can finally almost relax. Or how are you feeling right now? I feel great, man. I think we got everything in. You know, everybody was represented. We had some of our ancestors of Holcomb El Rucker in the house, so you know, it, it was great, man. It was great. Now, Bob, play by play, you're doing pretty well. Are you looking to do the to be the next uh, Marv Albert and uh, do it for the NBA? What do you think? You know, it's really funny. When I first started working here, this is what I did. I learned how to do the stats. I learned how to do. I can do any professional game anywhere. So I've, I've been announcing for a long. I've been doing the play-by-play -play for probably about 30 years since I was 15, uh, 15, 17 years old. And so it's really been fun to come back here and, and do it. Whenever I'm out here, I usually cover and help George do uh, some of the games. But you know, the excitement of basketball and playing it and living it is it, nothing like being in the game. Especially we had a, a great uh, middle school championship game earlier, and the kids did a great job. Went to overtime so that kind of stuff is you know what you live for in basketball a few interesting games you mentioned the middle school one now we have the nyp against the each one teach one team what do you think is uh you know the, the best game out of the lineup that you have for the weekend uh, well, to be honest with you, the, the next game is going to be the best. There's a couple of, there's two more games, actually. Um, there's a Puerto Rican Legends game, and then there's the high school championship. And those high school teams were really good uh, yesterday. So we're hoping to see uh, just some great action, some great competition. And, and it was a lot of um, just things that people want to see and kids doing positively. You know, a lot of times the kids are in the news for all kinds of different things, but we want to make sure that people get to see the kids enjoying themselves and competing in, in an environment environment that's great. Now Daryl, what is your favorite part out of the weekend thus far? Um, I think really just the legends coming back and then the kids being able to connect with the legends, you know, Emmett Bryan, guys that played for the championship, played for winning teams and just showing what basketball is all about. And then the community aspect, having everyone bringing the kids and, you know, having NBA Cares and, and the Knicks coming out and support the kids is, is awesome. Now the kids had some uh, free clinic today. Vin Baker came out, John Wallace came out from the Knicks, teach them some drills. That's great stuff, uh, teaching the kids how to play basketball at an early age. Do you have anything upcoming with uh, teaching the kids? Well, yeah, we do the Global Summer Invitational every year, and uh, we're going to have something called Rucker Park Legends Summer Camp. So we have a bunch of things uh, planned and laid out that will allow there to be kind of a fold-out of Rucker, and we're going to expand it throughout the city, uh, throughout the country. We're actually going to be doing some traveling, so it's going to be really interesting to see uh, what happens, but hopefully this brings to light the importance of what's being done. All right, Mark the Statman Skevich here with Daryl Neverson and uh, Bob McCullough. Make sure you check out the documentary Rucker 50 and hashtag Rucker 50. Great events here at the 50th anniversary of Rucker Park. Thank you for joining us for the special edition of Real Fans Real Talk and we'll see you next time everyone. RealFansRealTalk.com Where Arthur Domus trip young and intern Tom For the white and black fans Asia to Manhattan I get all my facts from my bro Mark the Stats Man If you're not tuned in, I recommend the CAT scan uh -huh. and if